Hey everybody, this is Maddie here with Altcoin Buzz, and I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. Today we're discussing the so-called having myth, as some people are calling it. Mickey.com dares to ask the question: Is everyone wrong about the Bitcoin having? Post having Bitcoin to hit one hundred thousand dollars in twenty twenty asks NewsBTC.com. Well, that's unlikely, according to some data. We're also going to bring you up to speed by way of Bloomberg on Warren Buffett's infamous charity lunch with Justin Sun. It looks like that has been postponed. By way of the project overview team or the review team, I should say, we're going to look at the energy project, digital currency for world adoption. A quick look at what HPB is up to, high performance blockchain. We also have updates on SafeX from a couple of different perspectives. And we'll let you know what seven prominent CEOs think about the future of Bitcoin. Let's begin, however, with a brief snapshot of the market. We are down just about 5% today, down 4.8%. Total market cap sitting at $274 billion. And as I was starting this video, Bitcoin was just below 10K. It's now just over at $10,002.09. That is down 4.7% on the day. And most projects similarly are down about 3, 4, 5% on the day. Okay, let's get into this issue here. Why does Mickey.com think everyone may be wrong about Bitcoin having? So miners are accumulating and retail investors are piling in, in this expectation of a Bitcoin having price spike. We've covered this before. It's simple supply and demand. At least that's how the theory goes. But a new historical analysis casts doubt on the theory. This is according to researchers from algorithmic trading software company Strix Leviathan. They've analyzed the history of 32 halving events and concluded the widely believed having price spike narrative is a myth. So in the myth of cryptocurrency having events, a deeper analysis, these researchers found no evidence that cryptocurrencies experiencing a having event quote, outperform the broader market in the months leading up to and following a reduction in minor rewards. The researchers concluded, quote, an assets return distribution prior to and following a halving is statistically the same as the rest of its return distribution with a higher degree of confidence, suggesting that there is no evidence of abnormal pricing action from a shift in supply and demand dynamics. The Strix Leviathan researchers point out there is a limited amount of historical data about the wild and unpredictable crypto market moves, which leads to, quote, unsubstantiated beliefs systems with scant supporting evidence that are nonetheless widely accepted as true. Kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy, if I'm understanding correctly. One such theory is about the having, which they sum up as, quote, the having of mining rewards has the effect of reducing sell pressure from miners, which in turn creates an imbalance in supply and demand that then facilitates a dramatic escalation of price. But again, according to quantitative statistical analysis, the assets experiencing a having quote perform no better than the rest of the market the quote seemingly random results suggest that the underlying factors driving price is not a shift in supply and demand dynamics we did not find evidence that a having event results in abnormal pricing action and we are dealing with a circumstantial illusion NewsBTC.com is also talking about post having Bitcoin and everybody's sort of expectation that eventually it's going to hit a hundred thousand dollars maybe by 2020 but again, not to cast a negative shroud on this idea, but there's some data that suggests that this is actually unlikely. While there may not be material rallies before and after halvings, a model from a prominent cryptocurrency statistician suggests having events should have a long-term effect on prices the price of Bitcoin anyway. So per previous reports that were submitted to NewsBTC, this model from Plan B, a popular analyst in the Bitcoin space, is suggesting that the stock to flow ratio of a precious commodity, whether it's gold, silver, or Bitcoin, can be related to its total market capitalization. The higher the SF ratio, meaning the lower the inflation rate that a commodity has, the higher the value that the asset should be. So as per Plan B at 100 trillion USD, this is becoming scary. Using October, instead of December data, stock to flow model fit improves to 99.5% R2. Model error was mainly caused by November 2013 and December 2017 all-time high. So sampling without all-time high gives less noise. Predicted Bitcoin prices increase $100,000 2020 and beyond, $1 million 2024 and beyond, and get this, $10 million 2028 and beyond. That's not even 10 years away.
In other quick news here on Bloomberg Business, Warren Buffett's charity lunch with crypto investor Justin Sun has been postponed. This came to us yesterday on July 22nd. So Warren Buffett's lunch with cryptocurrency entrepreneur Justin Sun has been postponed because Sun apparently is ill, according to to a tweet from his Tron Foundation. And here is that tweet again from yesterday, the 22nd of July. Tron Foundation announces postponement of Warren Buffett lunch press conferences after founder Justin Sun falls ill with kidney stones. Ooh, that's not fun. Parties agreed to reschedule at a later date. So I don't want to sound too conspiratorial. I'll take this at face value, and I'm sure eventually they'll make arrangements to have some other lunch rendezvous, at which point we'll cover that if and when it happens. We're looking now on altcoinbuzz.io at an energy overview. It's a digital currency for world adoption, and this is brought to us by the Project Review team. Energy aims to be the world's leading cryptocurrency with the unification of smart contracts, governance, and a self-funding treasury to ensure longevity and enable rapid growth. In case you haven't heard about energy, they want to bring cryptocurrency to everyone. Currently, cryptocurrency adoption is less than 1% of the world population. For this goal to be realized, a self-funding treasury is essential to be able to pay for developers, contributors, marketers, and other expenses that enable further growth of the platform. The energy treasury also funds a defense team that serves to protect their user base from hackers, scammers, and other bad actors in the space. You can take a look here at the leadership team, which consists of the founder and CEO, Tommy World Power, the president, Ryan Lucchesi, Carolyn Seat, the VP of Operations. You can check out some of the interesting interviews with the founders and CEO, Tommy World Power, below. They were featured on Ivan on Tech, Crypto Zombie, and Arcane Bear. So we mentioned the treasury system just now. Well, how does that work? With the robust treasury creating a self-sustainable ecosystem of paid developers and defense workers preventing hacking and scammers, the budget will also be allocated towards helping startups looking to develop dApps on energy and to create an incubator program planned for Q4 of 2019. Here is an example of the defense team at work if you want to check that out. Energy's treasury system sets its as the strongest out of any cryptocurrency in the market. Every month, 1 million new energy are created, of which 40% go to the treasury. This, at the current rate, equates to over 2 million US dollars monthly budget. The comparison chart below helps visualize how large the difference in treasury is compared to other even larger market cap projects. And you all members of the Altcoin Buzz Army can read all about what Energy has planned for moving forward with their next roadmap and their vision for the future. There's a lot going on here with Energy 3.0 planned for Q4 2019. It's going to include the transition to a more robust smart contract platform blockchain with the existing treasury and governance model, which will allow it to become compatible with dApps written for Ethereum and allow them to simply port over to the new energy platform. Energy will also be supporting startups looking to develop on the energy platform and help provide user protection to DAP users with the defense team along with providing engineering and marketing support. In the second quarter of 2019, Energy Core, which is the primary working group for energy, begins work on Energy X, which is a zero fee futures exchange, which is aiming to rival BitMEX and now Binance with its primary trading pair, being NRG. If you're interested in masternodes and what energy can offer you in terms of their masternodes, be sure to check out the rest of this piece. You can also learn about earn drops and you can sign up. You can sign up and check them out and check out more information here on their website, on Twitter, on Discord, on Telegram, on Medium, and read their white paper in full. Of course, energy is featured on the following exchanges Coin Exchange, Crypto Bridge, KuCoin and DigiFinex. Of course, guys, I have to say none of this is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor and all of this is just opinion. So please, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army, do your own due diligence before investing and don't invest anything you cannot afford to lose. In other quick news here, we have news about HPB High Performance Blockchain, the first public chain to join major Chinese multi-platform credits and rewards points system. So here is the news on HPB.io, fully integrating HPB into Shanghai Yuan's credit system for widespread adoption with companies that are within the credit system, such as all companies under the Ping An Group, JD.com, and the Chinese telecom companies. So HPB has landed a milestone partnership with Shanghai Yuan to connect its mobile games and the HPB wallet to expand the connected ecosystems of both parties. This new partnership will bring many new games to the HPB platform 
and integrate HPB into their network of apps and companies in which HPB coins and the blockchain itself will be used. Through this integration onto their platform, a new feature will be available such as converting HPB coins into the in-game currency and bring HPB into their credit system. Not only will users be able to convert HPB into usable currency in-game, but importantly, this will allow credit conversions from the in-game currency into in-game credits compatible with companies that are integrated into the credit system, such as companies under the Ping An Group and others, as I mentioned, JD.com, China Telecom, China Mobile, and China Unicom. Those are some very big names. Congratulations to HPB, and check out the rest of this article for more information. Now with a couple of quick updates from our friends over at SafeX. There is a SafeX development update that was issued yesterday, July 22nd. SafeX Marketplace, during the last week, we have planned code implementation of account registration registration via the token locking. You can check out safe.exchange for more information there. Bringing us to that page, we have a SafeX market proof of concept test net. During the past week, Daniel has been on the Malta blockchain conference. And during that time, he showed the test net demonstration of the marketplace functionality that includes stake tokens, querying the blockchain for the list of products for sale, a demo purchase of products from that list, calculating the revenue share for the stake tokens, unstaking those tokens, and receiving the revenue share. If you want to check out the full list of updates and all the information as it relates to the SafeX marketplace, again, this update from the 22nd of July, do be sure to check out this update piece in full on safe.exchange. We will link to it in the description below. And finally for today, just want to tease this piece because we're running a little bit long to be quite honest, but we have seven CEOs that have discussed the future of Bitcoin, what they see, what they envision in the years ahead. Many people of course have strong opinions on Bitcoin, but does anyone really know where the digital currency is going? At Fortune's recent Brainstorm Finance Conference, we put the question, what is the future of Bitcoin to seven CEOs and one COO? Now you have some individuals that are a little bit more pro Bitcoin, of course, and some are a little bit more skeptical about it. So you have individuals with varying opinions. Hikmet Ersek, for example, is the CEO of Western Union, and I don't exactly think it's his best interest or her best interest, their best interest to speak too highly of Bitcoin and blockchain. Check uh, out this answer here. Sally Krawcheck, CEO of Elevest, said, what's the future of Bitcoin? I have no idea. Anyone else think they know? Okay, that's not necessarily the most informed opinion. But believe me, some of these other individuals, Amber Baldet, former blockchain executive at JP Morgan, Jeremy Allaire, CEO of long-established cryptocurrency payment service Circle, and some other ones here, Vinny Lingham, CEO of blockchain idea management service C Civic, they have some more enthusiastic ideas and thoughts about Bitcoin moving forward. If you want to know exactly what those are and get into the heads of these leaders and CEOs, get a sense of their opinions, check out this piece, which we're going to link to below. But that about rounds it out for the news today, everybody. Do be sure you're following us on all the regular social media channels and keep checking back into our website, altcoinbuzz.io. Go ahead, like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell to receive notifications if you've enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful Tuesday, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army. All the very best of luck if you choose to invest, but we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.